Hey, doing? I'm Jim Groom. I'm from the University of Mary Washington, and the question that was posed to me by Alexandra Pickett is, how would I make an online class more engaging? Um, and one of the things that I found most engaging about an online class we teach here at the University of Mary Washington is this space called DS106 Assignments. The class is called DS106, and if you go to the URL assignments.ds106.us, you'll see an assignment bank that was actually populated by students with different assignments. What's more, various students in the class and even online, open online students would do these assignments. And you would start to get under each assignment, if you click on the assignment, a list of people who've done the assignment. What's more, there's even a place where you can create a tutorial for that assignment. And for me, while teaching the class and even while watching it unfold, what was really engaging about this is you didn't have predefined assignments. Like your professor said, do these X you know, these three assignments. What you had is a group of assignments in a particular topic, like video, media, you know, um, audio, design, and you would do X amount of stars, 10 stars, 15 stars, and you choose what assignments. What's more, if you didn't like any of those assignments, you would submit your own. And for me, that idea of allowing the students to program and participate in the creation of the assignments and in the kind of um, excitement around assignments that you may not have thought of or you may not have even found very valuable is a really important part of engagement is letting go a bit of your power and, and emboldening and I think empowering the students to kind of play with that um, and it's been fun and you know kudos to Martha Burda she designed this assignments it's in WordPress and it's a really powerful model so if you're thinking about designing online courses I would highly recommend you take a close look at assignments.ds106.us. Thanks a lot. Take care.